Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. You can put your hand down. Do you understand why you're here today? Why are you here today? Do you have your appointment letter with you? Can you show it to me? Thank you. Do you have your permanent resident card, your passport, and any form of ID? The same, just show them to me. Thank you. Okay, what is your full legal name? What names have you used in the past? What changes will you be making to your name? Okay. What is your date of birth? Where were you born? How long have you been a permanent resident? How did you become a permanent resident? Are your parents U.S. citizens? Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Do you now have or do you ever had a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Uh, have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated with the Communist Party, any other totalitarian party? a terrorist organization? Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? Are you married? What is your spouse's full legal name? Can you spell the last name for me? Have you ever been divorced? Is your spouse a U.S. citizen? Were you ever married back in your country of origin? How many times have you been married? Okay. Do you have any children? How many children do you have? Are they your biological children? Do any of your children live out of the United States? Okay. Please allow me one moment.
¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te está yendo con la práctica? Recuerda que si te gustaría prepararte para responder una entrevista como esta, ofrecemos un curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. En este curso encontrarás un orden de trabajo sin interrupciones que podrás estudiar a tu propio ritmo y a tus propios tiempos sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Además, contarás con el apoyo de nuestro equipo ayudándote en tu preparación. Recuerda, esta página es cursosconfernando.com. Continuemos con la práctica. Mucha suerte. Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion. Okay. Were you ever a member of or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Prison or jail, prison camp, detention facility, labor camp, any other place where people were forced to stay. Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization to use a weapon against any person or threaten to do so? Did you ever self-give or provide weapons to any person or help another person self-give or provide weapons to any person? Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? Did you ever recruit and list conscript or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in help an armed force or group? Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that help or support people in combat? What does the president's cabinet do? What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Who is the father of our country? What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Who makes federal laws? What did the Declaration of Independence do? What is freedom of religion? We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? What is the name of the President of the United States now? When must all men register for this elective service? Please write the following sentence. Washington was the first president. Washington was the first president. Washington was the first president. Now please read the following sentence. Okay. What are the last four digits of your social? What is your height and your weight? And what is your phone number? Okay. What is your address? Can you spell the name of the street? How long have you lived at this address? Okay. What was your previous address? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempt to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? 
Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer, including immigration officers, or any official of the U.S. Armed Forces for any reason? Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisted in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or rehabilitated program? Have you ever been in prison or jail? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard, been a prostitute, or procured anyone for prostitution, sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics, been married to more than one person at the same time, marry someone in order to obtain immigration benefit, help anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally, gamble illegally or receive income from illegal gambling, fail to support your dependents or to pay alimony, made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government official to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain an immigration benefit while in the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever in place in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? What do you do for a living? How long have you worked at this place? When was the last time you traveled out of the United States? Where did you travel to? Who traveled with you? Okay. How many times have you traveled out of the United States in the last five years? How many days in total have you spent outside of the United States in the last five years? Okay. Do you support the Constitution and formal government of the United States? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? What is an oath of allegiance? Are you willing to take the food oath of allegiance to the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian directions? Okay, I will recommend your interview as approved. Si te gustaría informarte de cómo son las entrevistas en la oficina que a ti te corresponde, dónde tendrás tu entrevista, te invito a que nos sigas en nuestro segundo canal de YouTube, Seres en Saora. En este segundo canal ponemos experiencias todos los días de diferentes partes del país. Puede ser que una de estas experiencias te dé información que tú necesitas para tu entrevista. Así que no olvides, síguenos en nuestro segundo canal de experiencias, Seres en Saora.